this rate, the entropic power intervals just won't be able to generate enough power. Of course, just as I thought. You wouldn't happen to have any spare bomb. Wow, you're a lightsaber. Now I can finally get on with my research. Take this. It's a little something for your help. Extra eye drops. Oh, thank you. That's much better. Now I can get on with my work. Take this. You earned it. Help yourselves.
Huh? We can't go anywhere else? Hey, you don't think... Tama? Uh, Tama? Hey! Tama! Tama, 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 Tama! I knew it. As long as Tama's mind is wandering, we won't be able to activate these gates. Dude, really? Why don't we just give her some time? At least we can still get back to Balam Garden, right? All right then, fine. Let's head back there and keep exploring then. You two have been through a lot recently, but why don't we start out by sharing our intel? Everyone's on deck, except the injured. This way. Oh, yeah. Do you know how Alwyn is doing? She's sound asleep, down in the infirmary. I talked to Dr. Katawaki. Her diagnosis is that Awen is suffering from severe exhaustion. That's too bad. What about Yuna? And the summoners? Same thing. They were forced to use their powers against their will. It took a lot out of them. Same goes for Titus. You won't wake up. Titus, is he okay? He took a beating, but they say he's gonna pull through. You know. He's pretty tough for a scrawny guy. In fact, Titus might be the only reason we were able to get to the summoners in time. You know that winged knight? I found Titus fighting her. He told me about the summoners, so we went to go save them. Right. And once me and Squall got word... You all showed up to bail us out, huh? It's a really good thing you did. Now you can help us fill in the blanks. Bahamut, did you figure out who they really are? And those weird mirages he called Cogna? What did you two kids do back there? Oh, uh, well, it's funny you should ask. We don't know what happened either. But what little we do know, we'll tell you. Wow. Then I guess the only one with answers is your sister, Alan. Excuse the interruption. I have new intel from our liaisons across Grimoire. Oh! Shulk! What's the story? You should have a look at this. What... happened? Well, those new mirages called Cogna have been taking over wherever they show up. For the most part, at least. For the most part? What do you mean? Our reports say that towns belonging to the Federation were assimilated right away. But the places that have been resisting Federation rule have managed to keep the Cogna out so far. However, other threats have arisen. What? There have also been multiple sightings of the Dyad Servants. Sorry, who are the Dyad Servants? A century ago, the demon Dyad plunged Grimoire into an era of chaos. The Dyad Servants were mirages that carried out most of the Dyad's dirty work, right? So you're saying the servants are back after a hundred years? That appears to be the case. The Cogna have given them a chance to begin their reign of terror all over again. Hey, Vaughn. I think that we saw them. One came out of the crater where we fought the bomb. Another flew out from underneath Figaro Castle. Huh? W what exactly are you getting at? Are you saying... We cost that too? 
we might have set them loose by accident. Dude, no! I'll say this. We need to take action now. The League. We'll get to work with our agents on the ground. At any rate, it might be a while before Alwyn wakes up. Why don't you guys get some rest? If she's really your sister, make sure you talk things out. Sorry, guys. I need to get back to the control room and handle this mess. Look, I realize that you two are probably trustworthy. But the League does have its rules. Until you get clearance, restricted areas like the infirmary are off-limits. If you want to explore, keep it to here in the lobby. Okay? Catch up later. Uh, so basically, she doesn't trust us at all. Well, you can't blame her. Okay, so what do we do now? I'm worried about all our friends. We really do need to talk to Tama. Yeah, that's for sure. I keep calling her, but she just doesn't show up. I don't think she plans to leave Ninewood Hills. Come on, why don't we go see if we can cheer her up? My goodness, what's with these especially long faces? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Seraphie, could you go get Tama for us? You want Tama? Funny you ask. She's been floating around like a terrified marshmallow ever since she got back. Let the pretty pixie handle this. Hey, Tama. Huh? Tama? Tommy, Tom, answer me. Oh, how dare you ignore me, you puny fluff butt! I am going to wash! You're so good! <coughs> I brought Tama like you asked. Oh, Seraphie! One the day, I will destroy you! Tama, can we talk? We just really, really need to know what happened. <sighs> Thanks for the reminding me! This is no time to go the Gaga! Those Cogna the Knight summoned are seriously bad the news! Cogna? No way! Yes, the way! And we have to stop them! Uh, time out. Before we go any further, Tama, what's a Cogna? They're horrible bad! Completely beyond the description! Well, uh, maybe you should try anyway? The Cogna are living machines that thrive on destruction. They have laid more worlds to waste than there are stars in the sky. And that's not a poetic exaggeration. What? But that's nuts! They're almost like a disease. It's not that they're all strong, it's that they never stop growing in number. Once they manage to invade a world, no one can stop them the ever, not even in a crow herself. Then what about the knights? Are they like Cogna Masters or something? Something else. They call themselves the X-9 Knights. They're a horrible order who the wander from the world to world and leave chaos in their way. Which leads to the question why, I suppose. But, if they were the Order of the Circle, then I think I know the why. Whoa. Did you say the Order of the Circle? I'm afraid the so. Bad news? Me and the Therapy have a history with them that goes back more years than I know how to the count. There are arch, 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 arch nemeses, to put it lightly. Bummer. So that's who is pulling the strings. But... 
That means they won't rest until... Until the every last world is destroyed. They're filled to the gills with ill the will. I'm still not sure I get it. But basically you're saying grimoires in hot water. Is that the idea? The water's so hot it's almost the steaming. And if you think it will end with just the grimoire, then you've got another thing to coming. Is Ninewood Hills in danger too? That wouldn't even be the tip of the iceberg. Oh, no. No, no, no. We're not talking just one or two of the worlds. You see, we're the part of a whole Googleplex of worlds. A Googleplex? What is that? Like a thousand? Dude! Actually, a Googleplex is ten. To the tenth, to the hundredth power. A million worlds? We can work on your math skills some other time. I need to get one thing straight. The reason those things got into Grimoire? It's our fault, isn't it? Huh? Um, the maybe, I think, yes. So, basically, we've put Grimoire and other worlds in terrible danger. No. No, that can't be true. It is. We messed up. Those guys in the armor, they used us. They invented a false prophecy and tricked us into opening the Ultima Gate. Mom was just the bait. <gasps> Would you cut it out? No way, dude. Hey, hang on. Anna Crow is the one who said to collect mirages to find our family. If she hadn't let us on, then... Maybe she's one of them. No way! Absent the positively no way! Huh? Oh, well, yeah, after all, Anna Crow would never, ever lie. All right, then. I guess I'll let it go. <sighs> so, like, why'd they pick us? How come we were even able to do something like that? I was the hoping you would know. Um, if you're going to ask the someone, you should ask your big sister. You might be right. Let's return to Balam Garden and go talk to Alan. Lon? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess she might be awake. Hey there, Alwyn. Tell me one thing. Your past. Do you remember any of it? No. Not really. Afraid not. Right. Of course. If you did remember, there's no way you would be talking to me. But... I do remember you're my sister, Wen. She does. But I don't. So then. What will you do to me this time? Do to you? But when those knights were holding you prisoner? Stop. Huh? I don't know you anymore, so don't call me that. But when? Enough. Okay. I was a prisoner for a very long time. But it wasn't the knights. Well, who then? You ought to know. And why should I bother to help you? figure out the obvious. You have to remember. 
for Lady Luz. Our mom? Is she here? Is she still alive? Yes, they're here. Lady Luz and Lord Rorik. Rorik? <gasps> Our dad? Then mom and dad are both okay? Where are they? But you know that too. Where they are. What they're doing. We do? Are you sure? Alwyn. Are you one of the bad guys? Me? One of them? You must be joking! But... You went around in a mask, tricking us. <sighs> Enough. Say no more. I just don't want to hear it. <laughs> Siren! Wait! You can't go! We still have so many questions! You bring nothing to this world but pain! And chaos! Leave now! Go back home! And never wake from your sleep again! Your mother and father... I'll save them. Uh, gosh, bomb it! What the honk is her problem? She didn't tell us anything! No, but you heard what she said about Mom and Dad. They need to be saved. Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess she did. Okay, but what do they need saving from? I don't know. Hey! What's going on? Did you see that mirage? Where's Alan? <sighs> that explains what happened. But then, what are you two going to do now? I'm not sure. I know, this may sound a little selfish, but... If you don't mind, maybe you could help us fight off the Cogna that have appeared across Grimmoor. We need more manpower. As much as we can get. Sure. Huh? Whether we were tricked or not, we're still the ones who brought them here. We have to fix this. As long as we have the power to do it. Yeah, you're right. Besides... <sighs> helping the League out with operations means... gathering mirages and getting stronger. If Seraphie and Tom are right, and we can trust what Enna Crow told us... then we ought to keep going. Let's collect mirages, and find our family. <sighs> yeah. Great. Okay then, the airship. We'll let you borrow it. The skies are yours. Go on out there and help wherever you can. It's good that we're helping the League out, but remember, we need to round up more mirages. Tama, these Cogna things, can you tell us more about them? They look powerful. Like mirages, some of the Cogna are strong and some not so the much. Then again, the tough ones are really the really the tough. In fact, some of the Cogna have such powerful defenses that regular attacks that won't even leave a scratch on them. Dude, what? How are we supposed to stop them, then? Remember, we're not the only ones out there fighting. There's Cloud, Squall, Lightning. We're all gonna have to learn to help each other out. Right. Good point. Chapter 21 Chaos in Grimoire Okay, so where are we supposed to start? Well... If we can track down Cloud, Squall, and Lightning, they could probably use a little help with the Cogna. Right, but where are they? Oh, we need more intel! Oh, for that the kind of stuff, you should definitely consult with Seraphie. Hang on while I go in to get her! Yeah, hi. So I suppose you're gonna make me break out the old rumor radar for you. Rumor radar? Oh, that's my secret power, hun. It lets me instantly snap up every bit of gossip within my threshold. 
in a teensy world like this that basically only amounts to everything. Whoa, now that's cool! Huh? Is it cool? Well, I'm no expert, but I'd say it is. Woo-hoo! I thought I'd never be one of those cool pixies. Well, you'd be the cooler if you picked up facts instead of rumors. Thanks for that reminder. Uh, well, so do you mind trying it? Yeah, sure. I guess I'll start us out by narrowing down the search to those Cogna we're after. Sound good? Here's the latest. There you have it. 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 Here's the latest. So, like, things are basically terrible everywhere? That's a problem. We can't be in all of those places at once. Time! I command you to stop! Okay, can we just build a time machine or something? Inside Ninewood Hills, you do realize that time is essentially stopped? Oh, wait! That girl behind the door in Ninewood Hills! Couldn't she help us reach everyone? <gasps> You're right! Inside her room, we can skip around to any point in time that we want! To board the airship, all you have to do is press the button shown on the world map! Want some tea? What now? Whose soul will you touch? Sid, have you found a pattern yet? Where's the phantom train? Hmm, still no luck, I fear. It gives new meaning to random, I can tell you that much. <sighs> well, if you can't track it, we'll have to give up for now. A train that traverses the real and unreal, just our luck. And it only shows itself when it's ready to attack. Not an honorable mirage, is it? If only we had documentation of how these Mirage trains work, even just some blueprints would do. That's it! That's what, Rain? We already know someone who runs a Mirage train! Um... Oh! Cactus Guy! That's right! The time to exact my revenge has finally arrived! Your staff? It's grass! <laughs> you 
certainly are fired up today, now aren't you, my little giant girl? Um, Rain, I know you're excited about this, but can I cut in? Sure, be my guest. Conductor, if my sister beats you, how about you promise to give us the blueprints to your train? Deal? Oh, we're on. But that's a big if you're talking about. Here I come! Ah, bring it! Okay, Rain. Gotta stay focused. I'm taking a break now. What now? Whose soul will you touch? Another wave. Magna rotors, 6 o'clock. Approaching at speed. Distance, 0.8 clicks. Vivi, directly behind you. 800 out. <sighs> I'm on it! All targets down. Not a direct hit this time, but the blast was enough. I can't keep doing this forever. If I may, sir, there must be a mobile command center, a Cogna that tells the others what to do. If we can locate that and destroy it... Command center? There is that Cogna we've been trying to pin down. But you've heard the same reports as I have. Not even the Black Mage's magic was able to put a dent in it. Even if we found it, how are we supposed to stop it? Only we could use machines. Fight fire with fire like Rain and Lawn did. Fight fire with fire. I think I know someone who can help. What is it? I heard that you wished to speak to me? Allow me to get directly to the point. That Magitek armor of yours, can it damage the Cogna's mobile command center? The one in the desert? I suppose it might be possible. Edgar, you're staring. 
Oh, my apologies. I couldn't help but be captivated by your beauty. Tell me, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Again? Really? Hmm? <laughs> oh, you're playing hard to get, I see. <sighs> so back to the subject at hand. Is it possible, or no? My Magitek armor. I summoned it just like a mirage, so I imagine it must be similar to the Cogna. If so, logically speaking, it should be able to hold its own against them. But... I wasn't myself when I used it. Seguaritus was controlling me. Say no more, I understand. Forgive me for opening up old wounds like that. Shame on me. But then, of course, my lady is free to inflict a few wounds of her own, now that she has laid my heart bare. Okay, so what do we do about the Cogna? Should we get Rain and Lawn after all? <sighs> Good question. Rain. Lawn. Right. I never did get a chance to repay them. But I can help them now. All right. I'll do it. goes nothing. Here goes nothing. It's time. Oh, emoji. Here goes nothing. Yeah. Here goes nothing. Oh. Oh my. It's time. Repositioning. Here goes nothing. There. Here goes nothing. Fender! Oh. So close! Here goes nothing. Taking a break. What now? Whose soul will you touch?
Are you certain that it came from here? This SOS from the Chocobos sounds pretty far-fetched if you ask me. Yes, I know that's what you told me. But we've scoured the area, and I don't... Huh? Boko, you sure that black Chocobo's part of it? What? Those Chocobos have been worked to the bone. You're right about one thing. We have got to set them free. Hey, Master! Did you hear that? That young man is going to save the Chocobos! Come on! Hold on a minute. That Chocobo is Hyperion. What is he doing here in Grimoire? Hey, Beaky! What do you want with all these Chocobos? <laughs> You know, this black chocobo's got a memorable name. Seraph even told me that there was a chocobo of that name and color that the made a name for himself at a place called the Gold Saucer. Wow, I love amusement parks. Wait, how did you know it's an amusement park? I, good question. But I don't get it. What was that Chocobo's problem? Okay, guys, you're free to go. Oh, who are you? Chocobo Kalima! Oh, I'm uh, just a regular old passerby. Plain as they come. I have to say, you are really something. It takes one tough ombre to handle Hyperion. And I suppose Hyperion must be that black Chocobo from before? I tell you, that thing was more behemoth than Chocobo. And it's not often that Boko gets openly hostile toward anything. Oh, and by Boko, I mean this fella. I'm Bart, and you are? My name is Chocolate. I can see Boko is very smart. That, and he seems to have the same keen senses as my master. Master? Hmm. Say, Bart. If you're planning a long journey, why don't you visit my shop before you go? I carry just the kind of items an enterprising adventurer needs. And I want to ask you more about those chocobos, too. Wow. You should have said that you run your own shop. Sure, we'll take you up on the offer. Right, Bogo? <coughs> oh, perfect. Right this way. Chocoboco Ching! So, I meant to ask, why are you able to understand what Bogo says? <laughs> Me and Boko just have a special connection. Welcome to the rift between dreams and time. What now? Whose soul will you touch? Between the Cogna and Mirages, I could really use a break. Can't wait till this is over, and I can get back to Blitzball training. <laughs> I've got my own business to attend to, as long as he's still out there. As for me, I know that once Bahamut is dealt with and the Cogna are gone, I've always dreamed of becoming an instructor. <laughs> Squall, you okay there, buddy? Don't think I've ever seen you like this. You look kind of troubled. So you... You've all given some thought to what happens next. You've got aspirations. And you all know where you're going. But not... 
me. Nothing? Come on. You must have put something on hold for this. What were you going to do with your life? I mean, once all the bad guys are gone for good, what's the first thing you want to do? Like, there can't be nothing. You want to know what I'm planning to do with my life? I never thought about it. I guess I have no future. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being undemanding. Is Titus right? No, it's worse than that. It's like I'm empty. I've got no dreams. I don't think I even know how to dream. All I really know is fighting. Is that what my life is? Once the Federation has been destroyed, will I no longer have a purpose? Squall! We've picked up a powerful mirage. Shulk is already en route. Can you go? Sure. I'll take care of it. Besides, it's not like I've got anything else important on the horizon. I'm here now. I'll take over. Hold on a minute. Let's team up. It'll improve our chances. If we attack both... Just stay of back. I said I've got it. Oh. <laughs> Would you let me finish this time? If we work to Just get... stop! Fighting. It's the only thing I've got. I'm not like the rest of you. You've got bright futures. I won't let you get hurt. Leave that to losers like me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> then put your fears to rest. I'm like you. I have nothing to live for beyond this. I am ready to die in battle, whenever that moment should come. What? But... still... Please. You just said that fighting is all you've got. If so, you must know exactly how I feel. I have no dreams. As such, I've no incentive to survive this war. In fact, I have a very compelling incentive to not survive. So why don't we do this? Let's go out guns blazing. End it all here and now. Discharging all our magic at once would destroy that mirage. Yeah, right. If I really thought that the world would be better off without me, if I'm that sad, that desperate, fine. But I don't think that. Not enough to give up on living. No way. Mm -hmm. No guns blazing. I do have a dream. Sorry. No dying today. You know what I dream? That one day, I'll fill the world with flowers. Huh? Think about it. Flowers make people relax. The way I see it, they help make the world more peaceful. When this is over, I was hoping you would come and plant with me. So, don't go dying on me now. If you don't have your own dream, you can find one later. Alright? Life is just too precious. Glad you're catching on. Now quit your moping. Stop dragging yourself in the dirt and work with me. Shulk? Did you... play me? Well, after your talk with Titus, I noticed you seemed somewhat down. <laughs> you got me. Won't do it again. So, you ready? Future's waiting. It's a nice thought. Maybe we can help them plant those flowers. We could scatter the seeds from Balam Garden. <laughs> we could.
job. Cut it out. It was the only thing I could come up with. <laughs> what do you say we head back? Everyone's waiting. Need something? What now? Whose soul will you touch? thought I'd run into my master, let alone get subjected to so much rigorous training. You remember the flood. That was huh? the very first sign What's of the punishment to come. The appearance of those mechanical monsters and horrible mirages. This is all the wrath of the Crimson Prophecy. And who do we have to blame for it but that heretic? She came here spouting the Azure Prophecy's lies. And now it is we who are being punished for it. She called herself a summoner, but her foolishness and blasphemy have cost us dear. You mark my... How can you say that? You can't possibly blame others for this. Oh, please, there's no mistaking it. The unbelievers have brought this upon themselves. Give me a break. If the Crimson Prophecy did turn the world upside down, there you go. What better reason not to go along with it? What did you say? How dare you ridicule the one true... From. S -s Somebody said for help! Oh, pull it together. I'll take care of this. Ah! It didn't work? <laughs> Can't you see this is all your fault? It's here because of you! You see what happens when you side with heretics? The prophecy is gonna see that we all pay! Oh, Freva. Fine. What are you planning to do about it? What? Listen to you. All this talk of prophecies and punishment, where is that going to get you? You want to blame others for the machines? You want to blame others for this mirage? That's fine. And then, what next? Go ahead and believe in any prophecy you want, but you better like what it gives you if you're not going to act. So, what's your brilliant plan of action then? Yeah. We saw it. You weren't able to put so much as a scratch on that thing. Only those who believe in the prophecy shall be rewarded. There will always be times when even your best efforts fail. But the courage to give it another go, that's the steel you forge destinies with. Have it your way. Go ahead and hold out hope for some miracle and let that mirage stomp all over you. But I'm not giving up. I'm defending this town. If the power's in my hands. Final heaven! <laughs> yes! Let's go! That was one the mega mighty punch! I'll say. And she never would have pulled it off if she hadn't believed in herself. She never gives up. We could all learn a lot from her. Yup. I'm gonna start right now! Lawn Punch! That's what you took away from this, huh?
wasn't so bad. <sighs> I guess all that training paid off. How did you cause that miracle to happen? Don't diminish all my hard work by writing it off as a miracle. Honestly, you're still just a heretic. I don't care what it is you choose to believe in. But look, don't just go around fanning people's fears. Why not do something meaningful? Make the situation better. The thing about higher powers? They don't help people who don't help themselves. No way. I suppose that's fair. So, um, I'm sorry. Oh, no. There's no need for you to apologize. With the world in such dire straits, we need to band together, right? Help from above will come when we earn it. Shall we get started? What now? Whose soul will you touch? Get so grim anyway. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. Things will work out. The two of us can handle anything. Ah, a human who's able to defeat the Cogna. Is he a medium? Or has he already awakened? Either way, I know just what to do with him. But. Please tell me you didn't come here to start your nonsense again. There's a time and a place, okay? Right now I'm busy dismantling these doohickeys. What? Farts! I haven't waited this day a thousand years! Did you just add a digit? You're not getting away without a duel this time. Don't you want to defeat those... Uh... Uh... uh goggle, kaboggle, boggle, kanagabaggy, whatever they are, I know how to stop them! Kagaboggle, Nagabog, Debogga, what? What? You mean the Cogna? So you know a way to beat them? Yes! Then what are we waiting for? G-Mesh! I must have had you all wrong! Quee, quee! Hey, this is far enough. I want to see this secret weapon you told me about, yeah. right? <laughs> I can't believe that it was easy as he said. Now that I have you alone, we can get our clash on. Bart's! Huh? Who's he? Do you know a way to stop those machines or don't you? No clue. What? <laughs> I just told you what he said I should if I wanted you to play along. Now let's get right down to the main event. True, I may not remember the finer points. But today is the day I finally picked that bone with you that I'm fairly certain I have. Excellent work luring the champion here. You served your purpose. Get lost. Huh? What? But I haven't had a chance to settle the score with Bob. Silence! He'll meet his demise at my hands. Once they hear I defeated a champion, my rise to greater glory is all but assured. Haven't you ever heard of keeping your word? You promised I would get to fight Bart's one-on-one. -on -one. What do you know? So that's the story. This fed head played you like a fiddle, Gilgamesh. 
Time for you to die! Oh, sorry, Bart. Where did it all go wrong? Oh, man. Once I've wiped the floor with these guys, you're in for an earful. <laughs> I'm not holding back against these bullies anymore! Agreed. They definitely have it coming to them this time. Those two just help me out? If so, they consider me... Grateful. We would have had a hard time with that on our own. Now, as for you, how could you let him fool you like that? Oh, I'm sorry. When he approached me, he seemed so keen on helping me find you. I was at my wit's end. I couldn't think of any other way to get you to fight with me. Oh, come on. Why are you so fixated on fighting me? Don't in the move, champion. 
Otherwise, I can't guarantee their safety. <gasps> what? No. When did he... If you're truly a champion to these people, then you lay down your arms at once. Now, do as I say. What are you waiting for? Shake a leg! Uh, right! How dare you! You just got kill the block! Sparks, take the villagers and get out of here! What about... Just go! This is my mess to clean up! A shame this is goodbye. Now I will never know the joy of dueling you. You know, he was really a tough nut to crack, wasn't he? But I thought he was all right. Waited this damn million years! Birds! This time we settle things once and for all! <laughs> How many zeros do you think you can add before that sounds ridiculous? <laughs> no! What do you say you and me get our fight on? Uh, no thanks. I'm gonna pass. <laughs> Boko, let's scram. <laughs> Giddy up! <laughs> huh? Hey, come back here! Birds! Good morning. What now? Whose soul will you touch? Chocolate, come quick! Oh, well, hello there, Barts. What's the matter? It's Boko. He's been choconapped. It's gotta be Hyperion. He and his gang are up to no good again. What? So Boko's here, huh? That's amazing, Chocolate. I don't know anyone else who can pick up a Chocobo SOS. Oh, yes. Well, so tell me, how was Boko Choco napped again? Well, you see, I was kind of taking a nap, so I'm not entirely sure how it all went down. But suddenly, I could hear Boko quaying. He sounded unmistakably hostile, just like when we faced that black Chocobo. Wow. But I'm quite certain I would have sensed it if Hyperion was still around, which can only mean it must have been something else. Master, what is it? Huh? Bart, Boko's in big trouble! We have to go in now! Huh? What? Chocolate, how do you know that he... Hey, wait up! Boko! What in the... Oh, Master! <laughs> So you're the specimen's owner. It's about time. What the? This Chocobo can talk? Huh? What are you talking about? Chocobo go in! Uh, no, huh? don't you see that? Hey, just hold on it's a sec. Being translated Isn't by... that the same chick that was sitting on your head? Whoa! That thing was alive? Hey, pay attention. Uh, yes, well, you could say it's alive, but... It's more like I live with it. So... Uh, stop running your traps! I'm trying to talk over here! Hmm. This Chocobo seems to be pretty intelligent. Makes you wonder why he bothers caring so much about his human owner. He ought to be completely ashamed of himself. And I had such hopes that he'd be a prime specimen when we Mecha Chocobos populate this world. 
Wait, hold on. Mecha chocobos? Populate this world? For far too long now, this world's chocobos have nuzzled up to you humans. Isn't that the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard? Isn't that normal? Humans and chocobos are... I mean, take me and Boko. We've always survived by helping each other out. <laughs> what you call helping each other, I call subjugation. Everyone knows chocobos are smarter than humans. It's time for Grimoire's chocobos to welcome the Cogna and become this world's dominant species. What are you talking about? Boko would never want something like that. That's right. And the same is true for all the chocobos out there. Huh? Who are you? Hmm. How very unusual. Why would you go and lower yourself by siding with this human? Me? I'm not lowering anything. The chocobos of this world are already perfectly happy without your help. You think being enslaved by humans is happiness? What a heap and load of phoenix down. I've heard enough. Boko here is coming along with us. You made a big mistake spying on us. Now you're gonna pay the ultimate price. It's not spying when you go and blab it all over the place. Whoa! A robot chocobo! How cool is that? Tama, you should make yourself a robot too! Made of genuine Tamamantium alloy! No, I think you should be the robot! Good idea! If we did that, then we can dismantle him whenever he gets out of line, right? Dude, you're scaring me! <laughs> I can't hey believe there, they wanted to rule the <laughs> world with cognified chocobos. What a nightmare. That no good mecha chocobo. Yeah, I guess that explains Hyperion. I bet you that he must have been cognified by those scoundrels too. I can't even imagine. Ah! Oh no, yes I can! Oh, that reminds me. That chick perched on your head. It was doing the talking, right? You want to explain how that works? Just say, oh, hey, you know what? <laughs> I've really got to get back to the shop. <gasps> Do you realize what this means? I may have just found the one chocobo that can speak our language. Huh? Hey, wait for me, <laughs> Chocolate! <laughs> chocobo go ching! <laughs> That mirage menace has got to be close now. So, oh, <laughs> wasting no time, I see. You're going down. Ah! Oh! What the? What? You lunatic! Sorry, I thought you were a mirage. Last I heard, there was a real dangerous one prowling the area. You're the only danger here. Do you always lunge at strangers without thinking? I said I'm sorry. So, let's roll. Uh, where are you headed? Hmm? You say that as though you actually believe I'll let you come along with me. Well, of course I am. A dangerous mirage is on the loose in this forest. It's not safe to be wandering around by yourself. What a hero. You know, I'm perfectly capable of... So, handling. it's settled. I'm Snow. And you? Celeste. You know, it's rude to... Celeste, huh? 
I like it. Okay, off we go. Interrupt. So tell me about this mirage. Well, according to the villagers, the thing's supposed to be some kind of colossal beast. Somebody's got to step up and do something about it. And you let them talk you into hunting it? <sighs> Birds! Show yourself! What was that? I have you now! Birds! What have we here? So you're the mirage everyone's talking about. Oh yeah, you look like trouble to me. Am I seeing things? Parts? Is that you? Something's different about you, is it the hair? Well, you're done scaring the villagers. I'm putting you down right now. Nice try. You'll need more than an extreme makeover to pull the wool over Gilgamesh's eyes. Oh, I see. I'll bet it was you that set that vicious monster on me before. Any last words? Listen to you. It's like you're having separate conversations. Hey, Gilgamesh, right? Do you think that monster that attacked you could have been... I haven't waited to stay a hundred years! It's over, Bart! Your reign of terror is over! This is insane. Okay, Gilgafresh, get ready for a fistful of lawn! Uh, first of all, Lon, you need to pay better attention to people's names. Second of all, Gilgamesh. Has he even noticed that he's fighting against us now? I don't think this so. Poor Celeste. She's surrounded by idiots on all sides. I've got this. That's what happens to mirages that misbehave. The villagers want you gone, so tough luck! Huh? Sorry? Villagers? Just stop! Listen, Snow! Huh? What are you doing? Don't tell me you're on his side! Would you just settle down? Listen when people talk to you! Hey, buffoon! Who? Me? Earlier, you mentioned that some vicious monster attacked you, right? What did the thing look like? Um, I suppose that I would describe it as a colossal beast. But it met a quick end at the hands of Gilgamesh and his mighty blade. Snow, do you see now? That dangerous mirage is gone. And you, Gilgamesh, this isn't the person you've been looking for. His name's Snow, not Bart's. Well... Well, when you point it out, he seems dangerous, but doesn't look especially beast-like. Whoa! So, Bart's is someone else? I just knew that something was off. Oh, that was my bad, Gargle Musher. Man, you totally had me fooled there. <laughs> I like your style. You may not be Bart's, but you're just as worthy an opponent. I had the wrong guy, but you put up a good fight. Like your style. Do they even hear each other? Any tough guy willing to go around with me? Hey, we are now bros. Bros, you say? Bros. I like the sound of that. Man, the two of us must have been destined to go head to head today. Do you think we, like, knew each other in some past life? No, not that I remember. Then, have you ever been a frog? No. Not that I remember. They deserve each other. Hello. What now? Whose soul will you touch?
wants us head on. I'll just have to hold them off here. Good luck. Lightning, Aiko, and my Princess Sarah. Well, that was cutting it close. Lucky for us, it isn't the sharpest tool in the shed, huh? Thank you for coming, Aiko. Your journey here must have been long and risky. Huh? Aw, it really wasn't that big of a deal. I'm just happy I could be of service. The only job I have is to flip the switch, so to speak. It's called the Loot of Ragnarok, isn't it? Lightning's assessment was spot on. The Loot is like Big Bridge. It's an Eidolon that's entered into a deep sleep. I'm amazed you never realized what you had. But if I didn't know about it, how could you? Cornelia's history goes back a long way. From what I understand, our first king was a summoner. I think it's safe to say there's no doubt about it now. Well, whatever the case, our new friend will need lots of magic to bust through that Cogna's armored shell. Yes, but lightning will come through for us. Gotta hurry before that thing gets off another shot. Every second counts. before that thing gets off another shot. Every second counts. I thought for certain the youngsters had returned. Now who might you be? Most people call me Lightning. And that's just what I have to be right now. Sorry, but I need to do this fast. I know what you've come for. Is this it? Yeah. Thanks for not making this hard.
Um, hey guys, that thing is looking right at us this time. What do we do? Eiko! That's what I've been waiting for. It's over, Cogna! Wow! I wish I had a super beam like that. What would you even do with it if you had one? Now, come on. We have to stop this thing before it goes any further. Got it. So bad. I did it? Really? Maybe you did. Or maybe some nosy friends of ours decided we needed their help. Is that so? So they saved me once again. Lon, Rain.
Good morning. What now? Whose soul will you touch? After we hit 20, I stop counting. At least, we're wearing it down. You can tell yourself that. It's exactly as I thought. I've been keeping an eye on its behavioral patterns, and it seems to keep moving between the fire valleys. Then you were right. It must be drawn to heat sources. Hmm. Luckily, at least we know now that it shouldn't be coming for Nibelheim anytime soon. But remember Valley 7. There's always a chance one of the fire valleys can go out. If it does, and that thing's near Nibelheim, it might take what it can get. If it's alive, it can die. So let's hit it till it does. As many times as it takes. Okay. This will be good training. I'll help in any way I can. Right. Let's go. What are we up against? I don't know, but everything from its HP to its um everything is the right on the scale! Have we even got a shot at this thing? Fortunately, it seems like its healing abilities are the limited. So then, we shouldn't expect to take it down in one shot. Huh? Wait, what do you mean? I mean, we fight it as many times as it takes. Dude, that means we have to live through the first time.
Shall we get? What now? Whose soul will you touch? You stuck with us. Rain. Lawn. Want some tea? What now? Whose soul will you touch? This is the place Lon and Rain told us about. Yes, we should be right on time. But I don't get it. How did they figure out where the Phantom Train will appear? Beats me. They work in strange ways. <laughs> Bingo. Right on schedule. What's that weird machinery coming out of it? That train must be related to the Cogna somehow. It's just a Cogna? Oh, that's no big deal. What are you thinking about? Yeah, it's a huge the deal. Hey, stop picking on me. Where's my agent? I'm leaving. What the, sis? Where are you going? Come back. Hello, please? Gotcha. <sighs> Whoa. For a second there, I thought you really bailed. She was, but considering it. Celeste, wasn't that your name? Yes, that's right. Celeste, you've got skill. Why don't you join Seed? Sorry. I've no intention of joining a group like that again. Doesn't have to be a permanent arrangement. Think it over. We could use someone as tough as you. I'll give it some thought. 
Anyway, did you notice? We weren't the only forces at play during that battle. Hmm? You're right. I thought it went down more easily than expected. <laughs> and I see those two. I guess I'll have something else to thank them for. As will I. Shall we get started? What now? Whose soul will you touch? I agree that that thing's buzz is super annoying, but it's also really dangerous. Right. We've been lucky, but some towns have suffered great damage thanks to the explosives that Cogna drops from the air. Explosives, you say? And how are they made? Well, they don't seem to be the same as real bombs. I've heard they're more like some sort of magical charge. A new kind of magic, eh? You don't say. You there. The jock with the gills of a flounder. Huh? What? Me, me? See another jock here? Oh, come on, Doc. You could Think call I me by my... Think I care about your name? Surely you jest. Now get out there and capture that annoying pest. Huh? Oh, use that thing from the game you play. A silly water ballet. You mean Blitzball? Yes, that. Knock it out of the sky and bring it back here. I'll be waiting over in my laboratory. Chop chop, my dear. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, listen. Is there anything I can do to help? That'd be awesome. Thank you. thing. You call this thing a mosquito? I'll go look for a giant bottle of bug spray! Somehow, I don't think bug spray is going to be much help this time. On my own. I owe ya, Valifor. Oh, uh, you too, Lawn and Rain. Huh? Wait, why did I thank two people who aren't even here? I'm weird. With my knowledge and skill, I can make better use of this new magic. Cogna creatures everywhere.
There you are. Just so you know, a message is waiting for you at the airship. Do you have a moment? Sure. What's up? We've located the King of Bahamut and his lieutenants. Dude, really? Really, dude. Where are they? The end of the chains. Uh, what now? You already know the towns under Federation control are anchored to chains that extend into the sky. Uh, don't tell me. Oh, I'm telling you. We know now that all of those anchors were fired from the same exact location. And that spot must be Bahamut's seat of power. So you're saying their castle, it just floats there? Apparently. If Balam Garden can do it, then why not the Federation? Great! Then we can just sail to up there in our airship! Not quite. Here's the problem. Their castle sits at a much higher altitude. The airship simply isn't built to travel that high. Oh, come on! What do we do? First, you should visit a cathedral. A cathedral? Yes. At the heart of every town that's a part of the Federation. You're certain to find one. They're sanctuaries that only admit people chosen as architects. And they're much more than that. You need to see it. Once you have, then I'll explain how to get to the castle. huh? Where are we supposed to find that? Remember that strange town we visited? The one where you said something felt kind of off? Yeah, the one where you told me we should keep a low profile, right? I bet that was a cathedral in the middle of town. We've seen lots of towns like that the since. We shouldn't have to go the far to find one. yourselves. here to map
What happened here? Once the Kaga invade a town and take the control, it looks like the town becomes the corrupted. There's mirages here. Be careful. So, the building in the center of town is the cathe... the cathe... cathedralism? Huh? Did you want to go listen to some music or something? It's cathedral? Just keep an eye out for mirages, okay? Why? of the soul crystal. How much of the populace have we harvested? If I had to offer up a guess, then just about four souls in every ten. No way. The architects. Were they? All this is the true face of the Federation. I already knew that I didn't like them, but this just turns my stomach. The architects are making the world better. It's true, if you're the Federation. That's exactly what they do. The Architects can live the remainder of their lives in peace, and never want for food. Yes, the moment their souls turn to crystal, and ascend to Bahamut's castle, their wish becomes reality, since crystals don't fight or eat. As for work, all they are required to do is become energy, and so they get their life of leisure as well. So what? Everyone should be happy? Ugh, give me a break! Not is the right! This is... this is completely the messed up! Shulk, did you know about it? I did. In fact, I was put in a cathedral. Dude, what? At first, I believed what they said and became an architect. I was admitted to a cathedral. And I nearly had my soul crystallized. But by sheer coincidence, an accident halted the system, and I managed to escape. Later, Shinra took me in, battered, broken soul and all. They helped me. When we learned the truth, we knew we had to act. And that's how the Anti-Federation Resistance got started. Still, until the world fell into chaos, this... Breaking into a cathedral was out of the question. But now we know. These are the entrances to our enemy's castle. Really? You mean... the chains? They're the way. They deliver all of the crystal. Correct. Once the architect's souls have been crystallized, the chains conduct them all the way up to the castle. But how are we the supposed to take the chain all the way to the top? Well, if you're human... It sounds like you have to be a giant to use the chain. Huh? Awen explained how it works. You see, she took the chain road when she went to the castle. She's up there? She said the road was designed for the Bahamutian army. You need to be both a giant and a mirage user in order to traverse it. So... Right. It's gotta be us. What? Rain, come on. If we're the only ones who can go, then there's no room for debate here. Yeah, I know. All right! Let's kick some Baja butt and give this world a saving it won't forget. After all, if we really did cause all of this mess, it's about time that we settled up.
If you're not this sure you're strong enough yet, I think you
Yes, and the world continues to struggle. Don't forget about all the people down here. They need your help. Don't you think? Remember, that castle is Bahamut's stronghold. When you do go, make sure you go prepared. Scared of you?
in there. Oh, I'm starting to get chain sick. Careful, the mirages here mean the business. Good, because the stronger they are, the stronger they can make us. Right, Lon? Right. we catch up to win in time. Another sister. I've seen plenty of contraptions like this. Uh-huh. Don't pretend like you weren't freaked out. With these devices, it shouldn't take us anywhere near as long <sighs> to make it to the top. So from now on, don't touch anything without checking with me first. You got that? Yep. Got it. What did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'll be good. You're totally going down. Oh, I don't know about this.
predictable.
Sorry. Uh, for what? I give up. I don't want to climb this thing anymore. Hey, it's too early to give me up. If Wind can make the climb, then we can make it too. At least I hope so. more about the X-9 Knights? They're no good nefarious the Mimis who want to fill in a crow's worlds with hatred. N nefair So what you're saying is that they don't play fair? Well, that much goes without saying.
Hey, are we up to this? You are totally going down.
know, we beat him once, we can beat him again. I don't think that Brandalus guy was even trying before. Well, so what? I wasn't trying either. Thanks, Lon. That's so good to know. Yeah, very encouraging. Hey, uh, what can I say? Anything else about those three heralds? Nothing the first hand. The X9 Knights are the like an army. They have the lots of members, so it's no the wonder I haven't met the three here in Grimoire. There's that many of them? Dude! Not only that, the ones with names and the numbers are the cruelest and most dangerous of all. Each is responsible for the destroying many of Inacro's the worlds. Didn't the champions rise up to stop them? Of course they'd have tried. Without the champions, the whole Googleplex of worlds would have fallen. But wait, don't all three of the heralds have names? They sure the do. We've the heard them call each other by those names. I've never the seen three of them in one place before. Well, don't worry. We have the champions and a whole host of mirages to help us protect Grimoire. Right. So come on. Let's get this done!
This is it. The final stronghold. Castle X9. The silence is giving me the heebie jeebies. Ah, the tray. We the too creepy. Help yourselves. Joke about the Lina! Oops! <laughs> there I go saying it again. <laughs> Welcome to the Chocolaté Mart.
Chocoboco bye now! Look at this. It's just... Beyond description. It's too strange to belong in this world. Sometimes I think you are too. But, yeah. Fresh what? Don't even pretend you forgot what that is. So, we're already inside the danger zone? I think the so. They're powerful enough to recreate bits and the pieces of their own worlds inside the threshold. Just the like this. Wait, but that means if we go kaput... I might not be the able to rewind you to safety. You have to be very the careful. Thresholds are more than just barriers, aren't they? Technically, they're more like a powerful force field, inside of which the world's rules can be the bent and great beats performed. So, whenever we step through a threshold, we're stepping inside someone else's private world? That's the right! I knew it wouldn't take the long for you to understand. But for someone to the create a world this physical, this real inside their threshold, they would have to expend a tremendous amount of energy. Not just anyone can do it. 
all that soul crystal being sent here. Right. It's, uh, probably doing the, um... It's okay, Lon. You don't have to contribute. Well, whatever form a threshold takes, we know how they work in general, so at least we'll be ready. That's the right! And you may not have the noticed, but both of you have thresholds too! Whoa, really? Huh? I think Lon's head is the starting to smoke! All this info must have finally blown his mind. So many mirages here. Doesn't the Federation worry about sharing a castle with them? Somehow I doubt it. After all, a wolf knows better than to bear his fangs at a behemoth. They thought this stand a chance against the King of Bahamut. There's just this something about him that feels fundamentally the different than the other two heralds. So bad.
make a date here. If things get the hairy, let's retreat to the entrance. Isn't that the carbuncle that was with Alwyn? I mean, the woman in the mask? Let's make this quick. <laughs> Do your worst. Get it! Did we beat him? I don't feel his presence. Hopefully that means he's gone from the castle, if nothing else. Let's keep going. Right. Right. How far does this go, anyway? Lauren, just keep it cool. But, uh, sorry, I'm just so excited we're finally gonna beat those guys that I'm getting impatient. <laughs> Thank you. 
Party. Sorry, but this might not end well for you. Let's make this quick. No trouble at all. Oh, wait! Mirages to find here? Oh, yeah, this place is the best.
Please, peace Don't again. let your guard down just because we're stronger. Well, that ought to do it. Predictable. Tama? N nothing Something just that gave me a start. That's all that it was. Please, the promise me you'll be the careful. <laughs> Tama, what's wrong? Are you okay? Their threshold is just way too the strong. Like they're invalidating by the existence. They must really the hate me. I can't bear to see you in pain. Please go back. Uh, but I can't go to the back. The three of us are a team. And a crow told me to, to look after you. Well, you'll be here in spirit. And that's what counts. We'll call you if we get into trouble. Please? For us, okay? Oh... All the right, but stay on the guard. You still have no idea who you're dealing with. Hey, we can handle them. I mean, come on. We've held our own against almost everything we faced. Hmm. Right. And don't forget, he's got me. We'll be fine. <sighs> All right, if you're the with him. What? I'm no good on my own? That goes without the saying. Dude, ouch! Okay. Well, if you're sure, I guess I'll head the back. See you soon! All the right? Yep. You know it. Bye. So, the final leg. Lon, you ready? Yeah. Let's thrash those heralds. So we can finally go home. Right. That wasn't so bad.
must this continue, Helen? A hundred years and counting now, and yet commanding just one body proves a chore. How lowly and pathetic can you get? My body gives me more trouble than yours does. Oh, but I do wonder about that. Hey, scumbag! We've been looking for you! If you think you can just wreck the world and get away with it? Then you have got another thing coming! When are you... Uh, Alwyn, you okay? So you've made it this far. But no more. You have to stop. You mustn't fight. Oh, I know you want to. But you simply can't. What drivel, what tripe, a farce beyond compare! Are you quite certain of that? What if they are the world's true champions awakened at last? Should we not deal with them now? And now it's you who's causing me to grin. The Crimson Prophecy's a done affair. The story needs no postscript, no twist and no spin. Exit. Begone, you whelps! Let's do this, Lon! That's right! It's on! Postscripts go. Impressive. should turn those corners up or your happiness will spill right out. You don't want that to happen. But everybody makes fun of me because they say my arm is creepy. But look, mine's are the same. See? And there's more. Did you know that these arms are very special? They're proof of the joy you'll bring the world. But only one of my hands looks like yours. You have one, Lon has the other. So as long as you both work together, there's no happiness you can't attain. Please, you have to stop gathering so many mirages. Why's that? We're really good at it. You of all people should be proud. Yeah, it's a good thing. You don't have a proper handle on any of them. 
Think of the trouble you're making for those around you. Well, what do I care? It's not any trouble for us. Fine. Then don't you care about your mother? The more you, the more mirages that you take away from oh, her. Oh, please. Mom loves seeing us excel. Don't even pretend it doesn't make her happy. Dad, I just think you're jealous because you don't know how to do it. Busted. You're the one who said that everyone's lives would be easier if we summoned those gods or whatever. Don't chicken out now, Win. Yeah, remember? Why else would we even be up here? You're wrong. A path to another world will. Just shut the honk up. Oh, I know what to do with you. What? Are you the one who summoned me? What is going on? Hey, who are you? Children, get over here! Answer me. Who are you? for the first creatures I find to be humans of so high a caliber. So, who will join me? Two bodies. Take them. What's that? What did we just see? Uh, Lady Luz, Owen, you're here. You're both safe. I'm so glad. Oh, so glad. Are you really? Our mom? Rain and Lan. They lost all of their old memories when they were spliced out of Grimoire. They don't remember a thing. Lucky them. But that's good. Please, Howen. Promise me that you will forgive them. For me? I never... <gasps> <gasps> what? <gasps> <gasps> 
subtlety. I can never abide it when a more direct solution is at hand. Come now. Did you not have some wish? Some grand desire you came here for me to grant? <laughs> Show me resolve! Show me ingenuity! Show me your power! Show me all the mirages at your behest, but do not show yourself to be lacking! What are... what kind of thing are you? I am Randalis, the mighty king of Bahamut, and number two five, the Exile Knights. I am the conqueror of all a worlds, and their destroyer. No, you, you are nothing but dust! You are going to pay for what you did! You fiend. I'm gonna make you wish that you were never born! What? Sis, you okay? What strength! I can see A's power has already had a profound influence on both of you. Perhaps I may not be able to destroy you, but neither can you put an end to me. To pursue this stalemate further would be a waste of time. That's what you think! I have to pay for bringing you into this world. This ends now!
Lauren? Erin, I know that I've put you through a lot of stuff. I'm selfish. And I'm sorry. It's all my fault that Mom and Dad died like that. And it's all my fault that these freaks have ruined Grimoire. Mine. I have to pay for it all. Watch me! to go home to my nine wood hills
You will not accept this. It was your doing, yours. And now you would refuse to accept the consequences? Accept it? How could you expect me to accept it? Lon takes the fall? While I cower in my fake world? I mean, this is my fault as much as it is his. He shouldn't have to pay my share. Who do I tell I'm sorry? Our mom and dad? Then I will ask you again. Will you? Or will you not accept the consequences? I will not! Not these! Very well. I shall yield to you all mine of my precious lives, and give you a chance to continue your tale differently, and weave the threads of time anew. Tick-tock. Tick-tock. Life sacrifice acknowledged. Now time shall be threaded anew. Bong. Bong. Postscript. Turn those corners up. Huh? All right, let's kick some Baja butt and give this world a saving it won't forget. After all, if we really did cause all of this mess, it's about time that we settled up. Wait! What? What's gotten into you? Just wait. What? Where's Tama? Tama? What's that? Our... Friend. Very well. I shall yield to you all mine of my precious lives. And give you a chance to continue your tale differently. And weave the threads of time anew. No way. Was that her back there? That was Tama? Hey, Lon, you really don't know who I mean? Thomas, our friend. This whole journey, she's been by our side. What? I have no idea what you're saying. What is wrong with you? You're acting so weird. Well, I've never seen her behave like this. Usually Lon's the one who acts like he got punched in the back of the head. Uh, Seraphy? But you... you can't be here. Huh? What? Why would you freak out about Seraphie? Come on, she's the one who's been by our side. Seriously, do you want to rest a sec? Seraphie, you know her. You love Tama. Someone named Tama? Wait, I think I've got it. Could it be short for Tama Mohime? I have no idea where you might have heard the name. It sure does take me back to the old days. All right. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm going up there to kick some Baja butt. No! Huh? <sighs> Careful. Tama gave her lives for this chance. It's a new timeline. I can't waste it. We're not ready to do this. But why not? Lon, think about it. Why did we come here in the first place? You remember? What did we say we were gonna do? What is this, a pop quiz? Answer the question! Well, if you mean the first reason... Um... And a crow told us that if we got back all of the mirages we lost... Then we might regain our memories... And maybe meet our family. Right? That's right. Taking down the Federation? That wasn't in the plan. Well, of course it wasn't. We didn't even know they existed yet. And anyway, you and me are the ones who brought those Cogna things into Grimoire. It's our mess to clean up. Even if it means fighting Mom and Dad? And having to sacrifice your life in the end? Dude, what? You really have lost it. 
Lon, defeating those guys, it won't save the world. No good will come of it. What happens to us, to you? Would you stop getting so worked up? You're not making any sense. The Cogna will stop them. Huh? Well, yeah, we can do that too, but since we're here, let's fight these guys. I told you that won't work. It's pointless. First, we need to close the portal, which means collecting more mirages, more getting stronger, and more owning up to what we've done. Hello, Rain? Mom, Dad. <laughs> we have to straighten things out with Wen too. And then... Okay, I think it's time that we'll we... Look at the mirages, get stronger, and close that portal! You can kick their butts after we do all that. Well, hold your chocobos. Don't forget, people are losing their souls. Yes, so let's hurry. Mirage collecting and the portal. Oh, and we have to call Wind back from the castle. Hey, Seraphie, do you know anything about that mirage that Wind summons? Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess. That'd be none other than Siren. She comes from the same world of Wind Pixies that I do. You and her are both from the same world? Well, then can you contact her and see if she's with Wynn? As long as she's somewhere in Grimoire, then I'd say it's doable. Great. Would you? Okity dokity. Be back in a micro mega flash. Oh, wait! Also, tell her we're sorry for what we did, trapping her for so long, will you? I know that. Sorry's not enough, but... Yeah, yeah. You're the boss, boss. Rain, what's up? You know something. I'll try to explain. But on the way, we're going to Belong Garden. Hey, let's go wait on the deck. One thing. This time, do you remember? What you two were like? And the terrible things you did? Yes. A lot of it, anyway. But we're ready. We're going to collect our mirages and face all of our mistakes head on. <sighs> Alright then. So why did you call me back? If we have the final showdown now, our fam... You and us won't make it. It's not going to be the outcome that we're hoping for. You don't know that. It hasn't even... I do know! Look. I was there. Please. Don't fight the Heralds yet. Help us save Grimoire first. We could really, really use your help. Do you have a plan? We're going to use the portal. The Ultima Gate? What do you want with that? If you're thinking about opening it again... No, it would never work without you, Wynn. Well, actually, we need all of the summoners for it to work. Lon is right. Summoners have the power to bring mirages from other worlds into this one. Basically, they create a bridge between two worlds. But so can you. In fact, the power is stronger in Mirage Keepers. Don't look at me. I'm just regurgitating all the stuff that Rain told me she remembers now. A Mirage Keeper's powers... They're not like those of a summoners. We trap mirages, using miniature worlds that are created by real architects, like our father. And once they're confined, we can release them. And at that point, they're ours to command at will. But to pull that off, you need to bend the rules. And only breakers like our mother can do that. Is that true? So then, your parents' talents, they became yours. To wield any mirage? Yes. And there's more to it. Breakers can extract power from any of their mirages, and then add it to their own. So the more we find, the stronger me and Rain can make ourselves. We didn't give it much thought when we were collecting them back then, but... In fact, 
We stole our mom's power along with her mirages. Wait. If you can't... If Keepers can't actually connect two worlds... Yeah. When I summoned Brandalis, I, uh... I sort of had to borrow your powers when... I used the crystal cage. That explains it. I could feel it, too. It's like the cage. It was drawing the strength right out of me. And while I was trapped in there, the Heralds could draw on my power. And even poses me. Wait a minute. Then, did they? Yes. They slowly deceived the world with the Crimson Prophecy, so that Lon would restore the gate. And by gathering up the other summoners, again, they managed to create a bridge. Right. That explains a lot of things. Okay. So going back. The Ultima Gate. Why do you need it? It's too late to destroy it. We know. Even if we do, or take out Brandless, then we're still stuck with a world full of Cogna we can't get rid of. So, we'll reverse it. What? Right. We hope, if we reverse the flow... It'll send the Cogna and Heralds back where they came from. So please, if you and the Summoners help us, we can do this, Alwyn. I... Uh... I know that after all we've done, we don't have any right to ask this. But... I'll do it. Huh? Honestly, I'm not so sure about your plan. It might work like you say, and then again it might not. But I feel like it's something worth trying. Still. Yes. They'll come after us if they catch on. It's more than that. The Heralds are using... Your parents... I know that. But you can trust me. Trust us to take care of it. <sighs> okay. When you feel you're ready, say the word. <laughs> Thank you so much, Wyn. I'm... I'm sorry. Oh, forget it. You can call me Wyn. <sighs> it feels too strange. Owen, coming from you two. Uh... <sighs> hey. Maybe there's a chance. This arm's gonna bring the world some joy. I know it. FYI, if you're looking for some more mirages, don't forget which pixies rock in the old rumor radar. Pleid? The plead? What's a plead? I'm still a little hazy on the details myself, but remember how it seemed like Ifrit and Shiva and Ramu seemed to recognize us? I remember them mentioning something like that. I think there were more mirages like that. Seven of them. Oh, I get it. Is that what plead means then? Pleid. But yes. So I think that might mean there are four other powerful mirages we knew besides Ifrit, Shiva, and Ramu. Huh, no kidding. Well, considering how tough that trio is, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get the rest of them on our side. Yep, my thoughts exactly. Hey, do you mind if I ask you something strange? Huh? Like what? Am I correct that you're in charge of controlling the gates and managing our prismariums now? What do you mean now? Please. You know full well that this pixie has always been in charge of both. I can't carry the prison case everywhere we go. 
but we can access it from safe locations. And you're the one who returns us to Ninewood Hills when we fall in battle? Huh? Well, yeah, sort of. I have to use the return crystal Anna Crow gave me, which unfortunately means we have to come back to Ninewood Hills every time. Hold on a second. This is strange. What's with this sudden barrage of questions? Oh, I guess I just like to go over things now and then. Huh? You serious? I guess that means most of what I know about Tama applies to Seraphie in this timeline. As long as I remember that, I should be able to play along. There was some... Anyway, she said you two have been given the power to touch the souls of... Oh, but, uh... Here, help yourselves. Uh, what? Mirages? <laughs> All right, good job. the Chocolate Mart. See him as you wish.
Would you mind if I take a little nap? What now? Whose soul will you touch? None of us know exactly how long it's been, but it's estimated the giants who lived here must have disappeared about a hundred years ago. A century? Huh. It's a little hard to imagine. Well, why don't we head back to the airship and... could help you with Bahamut? Oh. Or should I call you Tia Babalo? You dare speak my true name before a stranger? Have you lost your mind? What is going on? It's been a century, you said? Been quite a while. But I used to know old Bahamut here. You know the Dyad servant? <laughs> Me. You once served Lon and Rain. Oh, yeah. Who can forget those two? What? Lon and Rain are the demon Dyad? The Herald, probably Seguaritus, must have concocted the name to spice up their crimson prophecy. But there's a basis to it. The original Azure prophecy mentions demons, too. <sighs> Did Lon and Rain know? Could they have read it? Rain always was a Yes, she was. Except acting out prophecy seems a little long. You know, you're kind of taking all the wonder out of my childhood here. One thing I know. No one would have started calling them the Demon Dyad or whatever if you hadn't been there, acting like demons and wreaking havoc against their will. You can blame the heralds for that. I don't care how long I was sealed away. How dare Fabulous name his army Muhammad! And declare himself king of this world! I'll kill him! Tell me where he is right this instant! Is that the reason you're here? Listen, I've observed Brandalus up close for a century, and Tia Babalo. Face it, you don't stand the slightest chance against him. What was that? The X9 Knights. I trust you've heard of them. They're a fusion of three things. An esper like me. A human. And lastly, a god from the extraverse. Gods from the extraverse? Espers? What are those? Well, the Azure Prophecy makes mention of them both. Essentially, it says, From oblivion, light and dark were born. Light begat beings called espers. Dark begat monsters, and humans who sought the light. In the Extraverse, the world that surrounds ours, live gods that feed solely on death and destruction. Gods that are beings and non-beings, and will not heed reason. One world found a tear in the fabric, and exploited it to confine espers inside their human bodies. However, this tear left them open to the Extraverse and its cruel gods. So then does that mean the Heralds are those exact same gods? I can't say anything with real certainty yet. In the end, the prophecy is just words. So the best we can do is venture a guess at what it means. In fact, it's because this first section was so ambiguous, it was omitted from copies. Only direct descendants know it. Then... That would make you... Yes, that's right. The first summoner's descendant. Oh, and probably the last giant summoner, I would imagine. Although, it seems that some of you have picked up the art of summoning in our place. You'll keep it alive. Enough! Get to the point! Are you saying that Brandalus has become an X-9 knight? Yes, that's right. A being who, just like in the prophecy, 
has crossed dimensions. In a way, what else can you call him but a god? He's completely different from the Brandalus that you think you know. You can't beat him. You can't even touch him. What you say is impossible! It doesn't matter what Brandalus is like now! He's not me! I'm the true king! The Bahamut King! Tia! King Babalo the Great! <sighs> Great. I see your temper's as short as ever. Wh why are we fighting? What the? Uh. So the demon diver thing. That was talking about us, huh? Yeah, I kind of figured as much by now, to be honest. Oh, Rain. Do I have to remember my past if it's this much of a train wreck? Well, hang on. From what Wynn was saying, weren't most of our crimes against humanity caused by these troublemakers? Why don't you ask me? What are you two doing here? Would you quit it? You really need a lesson in anger management. I need what? Oh, also, you should forget about messing with the Heralds. It's true, you can't win. I shall just have to slaughter you in order to prove just how wrong you are.
this can't be. When did you ever gain such strength? Just a guess, but we must be more powerful than before. This is like our second go at this, right? Hey, Tia Babalo. You know, we're planning to fight Brandalus. If you come with us, you can have a shot at him. <laughs> now that I've lost, I have no right to refuse. I'm yours. Did we actually defeat him? A dyad servant? Huh? Huh? Oh. How about that? Lon and Rain have just taken their servant back. What? Lon and Rain are here? How is that? I don't know. But that's a good question for when I see them. Take a little nap. What now? Whose soul will you touch? What now? Which champion would you like to awaken? What now? See you.
Good evening. What now? See you soon? If Quistus's information is correct, then it's almost time. Balam Garden has been summoning a demon? That's what the reports have been saying. Do you believe it? Of course I don't. Alright, then what do you think this alleged demon really is? Do you mind looking into it for me? All the sightings so far have been reported to be around the same hour. Strange. This demon that's appearing. I wonder what it could be. Oh, so I'm a demon now. What a fascinating allegation. Huh? So, level with me here. What do I look like to you? To be totally honest, you fit the description. Oh, a demon then? Yes. I know who you are. You're one of the Demon Dyad servants from a century ago. Diabolos. I'm a what now? Oh, I see. So Grimoire decided those two were demons. Huh? But how does them being demons make me a demon too? They're servants! So then tell me why you would show up now, amidst such chaos. You know why I've come. A servant of demons has no purpose but this. Furthering the chaos. Then, I must punish you in the Keeper's absence. That would ruin all my fun. Oh, I'm so scared. Not! Wait, what? You're facing us now. Huh? Oh, it's you two. What are you doing here? Oh, you know, just butting in to help. Yeah, what Ranger said. We're rearing our ugly ends. What's that even mean? Wait, where am I? What strange place have you taken me? Ha ha ha! We've got him sweating now. <laughs> no matter. Let's see if either of you runs is still any good. That wasn't so bad. <gasps> you can't escape. What's this? Just a dream. A very bad one. Shh. 
Shalk. Huh? Brother? Yes, that's right. I've been searching for so long. For me? Of course. You know, when I first heard the news, how you'd fled after becoming an architect, I was so worried. You came after me? But you had it all. You were the exceptional one. I know that Mom and Dad pressured you into it. Becoming an architect. What's wrong? You can tell me. After you left and went to the cathedral, the house got so unbearable. We tried, but we couldn't reach you. Mom became sick with worry. And Dad just hid in his bottle. The fire broke out, and then they were gone. What choice did I have? The cathedral was the only place I, I could think to go to. So then you're telling me you killed Mom and Dad. What? No! You put them in the ground. You were always making trouble for them. You never did them an ounce of good. You grew tired of their scolding. So one day, you made them burn. No. I would never do something. But you did. You're saying that I... Yes. And now that Mom and Dad are no more, my job is to see you punished. You want me to atone for what I did to them? I want you dead. You are the worst kind of sleazy creep. How dare you peep at people's thoughts without asking them? And you think it's okay to twist her weaknesses around when the poor girl doesn't even know what's real? You scum! I'm scum? Wait, hold on. Didn't we settle this last time? Last time? Yes, we did just fight. Why am I only remembering these things now? Oh, interesting. When he left this place, do you think his memory got some kind of readjustment to match the world he went back to? Oh, I get it. So then, the reason we forgot about Grimoire is surprisingly simple. It's because we left it. Huh? Hey, Rain, what's up? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just starting to piece together how this power of fantasy thing affects our memories. Huh? The power of fantasy? Rubbish. That is my tribe's domain. Now I see. Guardians of time have been busy. Fine. If that's how you want to play, then so be it. Come on!
lost again. <sighs> well, fine. You can boss me around like you used to. Well, I don't remember too much about the things we used to have you do, but if you can keep it in check, then maybe. Maybe you can have some fun. Huh. Want some tea? What now? Whose soul will you touch? I was hoping that beast would return within my lifetime. Sildra! Today we avenge them. Your family and my great-grandfather. Our long wait is finally over. Are you ready? Right! Head for the low seas! Tell me a tale, Koopa! That was nothing. Lawn and rain. I don't know how you did it. Now, tell me where that demon was spotted. In the waters of Babel. Not far from the Rainbow Shore, Koopa. Leviathan! Here I am! Show yourself! Come out and fight! If you have the courage! What's all this noise? Who might you be? Oh. So she killed your ancestors. Now? You seek revenge? Aye. She must pay. For my great-grandfather and Sildra's kin. Hmm. As you wish. I'll call her for you. Why <laughs> you always raise such a clamor like that? My ears work fine. Little Adamantus, can't you see? I'm trying to enjoy myself. 
I have missed these seas. Your reason for disturbing me had best be good. We're the ones who are disturbing you, Leviathan! Well now, what is this tiny creature? I'll show you, Tiny! You've killed my great-grandfather Tycoon. He died with all of Sildra's clan. But on this day, we will have our vengeance! And I'm here to help, Koopo! Tycoon and... Sildra, did you say? Oh! Astonishing! So their bloodline survived! Hm? But... Hold. You say you seek vengeance upon me. That's right! Don't you dare feign ignorance! My great-grandfather was brave. When you attacked Sildra's family, he fought to save them. And died. But we swore that one day, we would have our vengeance. For generations we've waited! It's my good fortune that you appeared in my lifetime. Because now, I can be the one to settle the score! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Foolish girl. Am I to believe a whelp like you has any chance of defeating me? Not a chance. Not in a thousand years. <laughs> what now? Where am I? What is this? It's a fantasy. Where dreams and reality and time all touch. But don't ask me to explain what that means exactly. I guess you might say, when somebody fights our friends, we tag in. You get it? But how can... Oh. You two. How many long years have passed? Can't tell you that, but... Did we really used to know each other? Forget all that. Ferris thinks you killed her great-grandpa and Sildra's family. Is that really true? Well, honestly, I'm not altogether certain myself. As I recall, when Tycoon's crew was attacked by Bismarck's forces, on a whim, I may have helped them to defend themselves. Once I left, any number of villains could have done them in. But that's no concern of mine. Then you mean, Ferris and Sildra are mistaken? So why not just tell them as much? If their hatred for me has been festering all this time, then I cannot calm the waves by telling them it was all a big misunderstanding. As such, the wisest course of action is to accept their challenge, to let them break themselves against me. The way you're making it sound, you know they're fighting over nothing, but you still won't let them win? Really? Why would I let them win? I am not beholden to them. They chose this. Then I've got bad news. To fight them, you have to go through us. Well, that can be easily arranged.
got me. I have been slain. We won. Really? Oh, yes. Victory is yours. We did it, Koopa! Oi, Adamantus. Can I ask you something? Hmm? A century ago, they tell of a sea demon. But was it really Leviathan? Tell me, why do you ask? Oh. Well, I might be imagining it. But she didn't seem like such an evil character. <laughs> Don't be silly. She was, without a doubt, the worst of the Dyad's servants. But no more. You have succeeded at avenging your kin. Oh, good then. Captain, we did it, Koopa! Aye, and you were a big help. Right. Gents, let's go home. <laughs> to think you were once feared as one of the great terrors of the seas. When did you become such a big softy? Quiet, you. There will be trouble if they learn I still live. Now hush, until they're gone. <laughs> Good evening. What now? Whose soul will you touch? This should be the place I heard about. Traveler, test your strength. So there you are. The Butcher. You've hurt a lot of people. They call me a Butcher? Rubbish. I merely challenge fools who would be challenged and they die. Then you're not very sporting. Every one of your victims was cut down without a fight. He who lives by the sword must be quick to draw it. Truly, they met with no foul play. If they expired without a struggle, that attests to their dearth of skill and not my lack of honor. Hmm. It is a troubling thought to be gone less than a century and return 
to find swordsmanship so diminished. Troubling indeed. How poetic. If it's a challenge you're looking for, why don't you see how you and your principles fare against me? Ah, your spirit is impressive. Let us begin. Sorry, dude. There's been a change in the lineup. You really ought to know better than to butcher people. I remember you. To fight again after so long would be a thrill. But you catch me as my blood quickens for another. My first worthy foe in ages. This trickery. This space in which you have confined me. I'll not be detained. What is... Lon! Get out of the thing's way! Aw, oh, dude! Zan... Tets... Ken... <laughs> oh... Missed by a hair... <laughs> Good. You're the strongest warrior I've crossed swords with in years. And yet, t'would be poor form to pursue this now. Find a new blade, and we shall continue this test of our might. <sighs> Looks like this won't be as easy as I thought. have a weakness. You're taking on Odin? Yeah. I heard that you have experience with the Dyad servants. Basically, anything you can tell me would be a big help. Odin? Hmm. Oh, got it. It's just an old rumor, but... At last. You would try me with the same sword that failed you before? Yeah. Except, I thought I'd mix things up. Damn you! Hmm? That girl. She looks like Ramuz. It's his grandkid. Grandkid! Hmm. I see you've been sniffing about. Is... is this the best you can muster? Yep. Damn you! What's wrong? Suddenly you don't look so hot. Hmm. Silence! Make your peace before I cleave you in twain. What do we have here? Is Odin <gasps> afraid of a weed of whitening? Hey, that reminds me. Wasn't old Ramu the only one you never had the guts to go head to head with? Whoa! Dude, 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 is that true? What I. I cover before no one!
Good morning. What now? Whose soul will you touch?